Yes, uh, actually the age, gender, and the culture are very much involved with the perception of time. And the fact that when you age, as you grow older, time seems to speed up. The idea that we have the same amount of time, regardless of our age, is not true. We seem to figure that the perception of time is different. So that when you're 50, 60 years old, time for you goes by much faster than if you're 10 years old in summer camp. Time seems to be impacted by what gender we are. Gender is an interesting concept based on male femaleness and how we perceive the time <clears throat> that we are involved with in the workplace or in our personal lives. Uh, gender seems to be something that impacts us with uh, the relationship of estimating the period of increments going by. So, for example, females will underestimate time. Uh, whereas males tend to overestimate time. Culture is an interesting concept as well. Culture creates a perception of time based on the upbringing within a society that we tend to perceive time from a seasonal or cyclical basis rather than a linear one. Uh, the American culture is <clears throat> well known for its linear perception of time and we see things in increments and we see things following one after the other. Whereas different cultures depend on cycles or seasons to perceive time. And so they look at time from a perspective of different cyclical measurements where we have, for example, the uh, Latin culture tends to view a day differently than the American culture. The Latin culture likes the afternoon siesta. They have run their business hours based on a different cycle of time for a annual day of work. Uh, that's a good example of a cultural difference. Another interesting example is not in the workplace, but let's say with our daily relationships with our spouse, our friends, our family, this time perception orientation does impact our relationship with those people as well. So it's not just a work environment. It can be our relationship with anyone, how we view the past, present, and future. For example, the soccer mom busy scheduling the day and trying to take care of all the tasks around the home and then having to pick up the children after school to go to soccer practice. She has to orient herself to time based on her perception, past, present, and future, in order to accomplish that task. How she does that will make a difference in terms of the outcomes of those tasks. So it depends on each individual perception of time, past, present, and future in our daily living, not just in the workplace.